Hey guys, Jemmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you something I got off eBay recently, and it's something that I've wanted for actually quite a while now. This is the PBC International Animated Singing Fish Sticks. I'm saying that as fish and shtick, as in shtick as in nonsense, you know? Now, the fish sticks is probably one of the more uncommon PBC items out there, especially in the assorted category. Yes, this comes from an assortment. This is the Clownfish variant, obviously, and there are two other variants out there in the series. There's a Rainbow Fish and a Tropical Fish, but if I had to pick one to be my favorite, I would have to say the Clownfish would be my favorite. And luckily for me, one just so happened to appear on eBay recently, obviously, so I I was actually able to buy it with the, with the money I got from, you know, from my job. And I actually remember um seeing the Rainbow Fish in a claw machine in a, uh, Restaurant, um, very nearby, it's like a few minutes down the road from me, is a restaurant called Fuddruckers. They had a claw machine, and then I go and I notice a big pair of eyes that look just like this, but, you know, they're like, they're, they're on the rainbow fish. And I look in the corner and say, it's like, oh my god, it's the PBC International Fish Sticks Rainbow Fish. It was like, I could tell right away, just from the look of the eyes and the fin hanging out. Um, I actually tried to, I actually tried to get it out of the claw machine and win it for my very own, but alas... As you may know that um, claw machine games are very hard to win, so uh, I, I really don't know anybody who actually won a claw machine. And no, the SpongeBob episode, Skill Crane doesn't count. So, yeah, I and uh, I haven't been to Fuddruckers since, jeez, I think 2017. Uh, I haven't been there in a few years, but I do remember exactly seeing the Rainbow Fish variant of the fish sticks being in that claw machine. I wasn't hallucinating, I was seeing it before my very eyes. It was in there piled in with a bunch of other anime stuffed animals. Now, I don't know if anybody won that um, fish yet, but if it's still there, maybe I'll, I'll get another shot at uh, winning that fish stick. Maybe one day, when the coronavirus passes over eventually. And this is actually the second video of the fish sticks to be on YouTube. The first one being from way back in 2009. The rainbow fish was shown in action. It was in the box. Yes, this is this was one of the very few items made by PBC International back in the day to actually have a box and an official name. And one of PBC's more recent items um, actually had boxes too. Right before PBC International went out of business, they started making boxes for their animated items. Pretty much all of them. Like from like... 2016 all the way up to 2018, late 2018, 2019, when they officially went out of business. Yes, I'm well aware that PBC International is no longer a corporate entity. Whatever the reason may be, it's sad to see the company go. But hey, if there's one goal that company managed to achieve in the time they were in business, it's that they have, in fact, made history one hug at a time. All right, back on topic. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, like I said, this is one of the few items out there that... Uh, made by PBC way back in the day to actually have a box because back then PBC didn't make boxes for many of their items But uh, this was one of the exceptions. They also made boxes for their singing ornaments and Special thanks to Chantilly guy for showing this he found this on uh, speak to me catalog There was actually a singing heart that sings all my love and by the Beatles that actually had a box as well It looks just like the singing ornament, but you know, it's shaped like a heart and I'm not sure if it counts as a singing ornament It probably does and, and a few other of their Christmas items had boxes as well, but that's about it. Anyways, when I got this in the mail, it was partially working. What I mean by that is that only one moving part worked, the mouth. And the mouth mechanism is um, not really securely put in place, so I had to do some um, fiddling around with the mechanism to get the uh, mouth mechanism to attach to the lips to give it the best mouth movement possible. And... Um, when I tried it out, I did hear a buzzing noise. It wasn't the mouth. It was actually the piece to make the tail move back and forth. You know, this, the, the tail back there. Um, the piece that actually makes the tail move back and forth had actually snapped. Whether it was the original owner that did that or it got that way during shipping, I have no idea. But as you might have guessed, I decided, you know what, I'm going in there to, I'm going in there to fix it. So I did. It was actually a very easy fix. All I had to do was take some Gorilla Glue. It was actually a new stronger Gorilla Glue that doesn't look all yellow like the uh, old Gorilla Glue does. And it actually looks... I put it in there and it works just like it did. And also, um, the tail has a bendable wire so you can pose the tail somewhat as well if you wish. So yeah, I got that part working. And also, there was another snapped piece, but it was for the latch to the door on the battery compartment. Like, the top piece of the latch had snapped off as well. Glued that and... 
yeah, he's basically in like new condition again. A minus the tags in the box, of course. But other than that, he's in great working shape, and this is going to be the first video of the PBC International Fish Sticks Any Variant on YouTube in like over 10 years. It's great. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite items that PBC made. And, it, and I'm really disappointed that this one didn't really last long in the market. I guess that it, I guess this is one of those items that seemed more or less experimental, for lack of a better term, on PBC's end. But that doesn't matter. The important thing is that this thing even exists. But anyways, this clownfish moves his mouth and flaps his tail back and forth as he sings the song Kokomo by the Beach Boys. So without further ado, we'll show him in action. So here we go. Now I know what you're probably going to say, wait a minute, this thing's on low batteries. Um, actually, even though it does seem like the batteries are getting low, this is actually on brand new batteries. I'm not kidding. It literally sounds like it's on low batteries when it's on fresh batteries. These are 100% brand new batteries. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I'm, I mean, I, I really don't know what it is. I think it may be, um, I think this was originally intended to run on four AA batteries, but, um, that could have took a little extra out of PBC's pocket, so I guess they had to go with three double A's to save some money and cut corners and all and such. And uh, I honestly don't blame them. It actually helped save them um, from going bankrupt, you know, at the time until they, you know, until that eventually caught up with them in late 2018, early 2019. And like I said, that company will greatly be missed. All right, I guess I guess we'll go ahead and give you an overview on the item. And uh, yeah. Um, not very often did PBC International make their characters look all cartoony and such. They kind of made their characters look more realistic, which was... And uh, this part right here, I feel a little circular piece. That's where the speaker is. And uh, I can actually see another um, animatronic collector wanting to own pretty much all three of the fish sticks in their collection. Um, mainly any singing fish collectors out there, even though it's not like a fish mounted on the plaque like Big Mouth Billy Bass. Um, Lake WI44, I'm specifically talking to you because I know how much you love to collect singing fish and other animated things mounted on walls and such. Or plaques, I mean. But I guess we'll, I guess I'll show you the battery compartment and there's the squeeze on off button. Mm -hmm. And the battery compartment, it's actually a wired battery compartment. All right. All right. I'll show you the piece um, that I had to glue. Hang on. There's the on off switch. The wired battery compartment, and then I see you see the little white, um, the white line. Um, this top part of the latch of the battery compartment that's what I had to glue alongside the uh, the tail piece because, like I said, it was uh, snapped. And uh, but yeah, it looks like as if it was never broken, and at, at the very least, it looks like it's pretty much worn from age. So I guess there's that. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot to show you the tag. It's, hold on. Turn it this way. Right there, PBC International. It's one of the more unusual items that PBC made, I'll admit. And uh, <laughs> I know this, this sounds a little off subject and a little bit of a strange thing to bring up in a video like this. But um, when I first saw these, um, mainly when I first saw them in action, like that first video I saw in 2009, it made me think of that uh, Grimace Island episode of The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. It's... 
it's a weird connection, I know, but it, like the song that plays in that episode, it the song that this plays reminded me of that. Um, and does it do that? Does that still happen today? Not really, but it it it, it that definitely like I definitely made that connection when I was a kid because you know I was kind of unintelligent and I made stuff up while I and I made sh up when I was a kid. It was oh jeez, but yeah, I I can give this um. I get a new connection in my mind. I forget exactly, but what, whatever. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and show you this guy in action again a couple more times. So uh, here we go again. One more time. And like I said, this is literally as good as it, this is literally as good as it can get on new batteries. It can't get any better than this. Yeah, and it has to be the three AA batteries that's making it do that. But I honestly don't mind, really. There you go, guys. That's the PBC International animated singing fish sticks. The clownfish variant, to be exact. And uh, one more thing before I go. Um, in the listing that the seller was selling this, they said that this was uh, a Finding Nemo product. It said Finding Nemo in the title. Um, even though it's a clownfish, this really doesn't seem to be... A, this is obviously not associated with Finding Nemo. And even if it was, I'm not entirely sure if it would get approved by Disney or Pixar, or any other uh, licensing company for that matter, but just let I throw that in there before I went out the door with this video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!